Hi, I'm Dr. David Hilmers, and I'm very happy to be here today. Uh, by way of background, um, I went to uh, uh, the university and had uh, earned a degree in mathematics. Uh, later on, I uh, got two graduate degrees in electrical engineering and then was fortunate enough to uh, be selected as a NASA astronaut. Uh, while I was at, Ast uh, at NASA, I was fortunate enough to fly on four shuttle missions and had a chance to look at God's creation, both looking outward towards the universe and also back to, to Earth to see what uh, he has created. Later on, I uh, retired from NASA and uh, went on to become a physician. And where I work now is in Houston, Texas, at the Baylor College of Medicine, where I teach, do research, see uh, patients, and uh, support a number of medical missions abroad. I think that the proper use of, of science is that uh, we must always remember that religion, since it's based on a uh, faith in a power that we really can't comprehend, supersedes science. And I think that scripture really uh, states it very well when it says that uh, faith is being sure of what we cannot uh, see and it, it's, our, it's being certain of what we hope for. Uh, I think that uh, science can help us strengthen our faith, but we need to be very careful when we see that science is trying to prove or disprove an article of our faith, because it's then that uh, religion stops being grounded in faith and instead just simply becomes an extension of our scientific knowledge. So what we're looking at on this picture appears to be what we call a lunar rill. A lunar rill is a long, narrow uh, depression on the, on the moon's surface. And you might think of this as an enormous ditch or maybe a small canyon, certainly not on the scale of the Grand Canyon, for example. However, lunar rills can be very long, maybe over 100 uh, miles in length, and they can be quite wide as well. Some of them are over a mile wide. Their depth um, can be several hundred feet or more, but their depth is certainly on a scale of the diameter of the moon is a very, very small proportion of the size of the moon. Lunar geologists usually categorize lunar rills into one of three types depending on their shape. One type of lunar rill is called a sinuous rill and that is one that wanders or meanders and it's got many, many curves. A second type is called the arcuate rill, and this type of rill has a very smooth curve. The third type is called a straight or linear rill, which is, um, as, it name, as its name implies, is very straight. Each type of lunar rill seems to have, or is thought to have, a different origin. As to the question, do these rills or similar structures exist on other planets or moons? It's thought that uh, rills or similar structures do exist on, on other moons on, or other planets in our solar system. It's thought that the mechanism might be different than the mechanism that formed the rills on the moon. One might ask, do these rills uh, constitute proof that the moon split at one time or the other. And it's thought that uh, lunar rills form through volcanic activity or by shifts in fault lines, much like we have here on Earth when earthquakes form. Um, it's thought that if there was any type of split that was sufficient to cut the moon in half, for example, that this would be an event that was so cataclysmic that would be cat catastrophic to uh, the moon itself, and that its orbit would have shifted in a way that we probably would have detected this. So there's no real evidence that we have that at any time in past history that uh, the moon actually split. Some of the main theories about how lunar rills formed um, are through volcanic activities, whether they're channels of lava flow that formed these meandering type of, of rills, or if it's through a large flow over what we call the seas of the moon that caused these rills, which would be more like the arcuate rills. 
And it's finally thought that the straight reels or the linear reels were actually caused by earthquake-like activity on the moon in which fault lines shifted and caused cracks in the moon's surface. As far as the timing of the formation of lunar rills, it's really impossible for scientists to put a precise date on the date of their formation. However, it's thought that these rills, whether they're on the moon or on other planets, formed at various points in, our his in the history of the solar system. And it probably occurred over a very long period of time based on the evidence that we have rather than on one single event. I'm not a planetary scientist, but there is no report that I've ever seen or have heard of that states that the moon in any time in its history split into two parts. I think that as a scientist, though, we can look at the results of such an event. It would have had to have been a cataclysmic or, or catastrophic event that would have irrevocably uh, affected the shape and the orbit of the moon. It couldn't have been remained in a stable orbit if that had actually happened.